Oh, I can't wait for this. Hee-hee. <laughs> The resin kettle. <laughs> or teapot. I know, right? This is gonna get weird. A bit crazy. Before we get into this, can I ask a favor? If all of you could just smash the notification bell in the top right of your YouTube channel, this will notify you of more crazy videos from me. No, I'm saying. Plus, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Now you're right. This is gonna be weird, and I have no idea if this is gonna work at all. It might be a complete failure, but I'm happy to show you anyway. The question is, can resin deal with 100 degrees boiling water and make us a nice cup of jar? I have no idea, but let's find out. a little while because I want it to kind of get hotter so that it gets thicker because I don't want to make this kettle one color I want to mix in maybe two maybe three colors not sure yet we're gonna keep coming back testing to see if it's getting closer to setting and then we're gonna add the colors and then we're gonna mix it into the kettle pot know what I'm saying so I've mixed up three different pots of the resin because I'm kind of pushing my luck with the amount of resin I need to have in one pour, as always. <laughs> um, but I've kind of found out that if you leave it, if you split it up into separate pots, kind of leave it a little bit longer to set before you put it all together and mix it, it sort of tends to be okay. So wish me luck. <laughs> so so going to wait for these to kind of cure off a little bit going to come back in about half an hour and then another half an hour just keep checking and when it starts to cure then we're going to add in some colors now i'm thinking potentially some white a little bit of white in there a bit of green maybe a little tinkle of red just a little tinkle otherwise we're going to end up with a pink kettle now there's nothing wrong with a pink kettle of course but i like to have a bit of mix back yeah. So I'm not going to swirl it around too much. I'm just going to leave it like that and then let it do its own mixing. That one I have because that one I want to be more dominant one. This one, I hopefully we can get these to mix in quite well. So almost ready to mix. It's getting quite warm now. So we can see 57, 70, that one, ooh, 65. It is some broken. Ho oh, ho! That means she's hot. Let's add a little bit of red in. Let's hope this doesn't go all pink. <laughs> but I don't, I don't mind if it does, but I want to try and get a bit of weird colour in this if we can. Right, so I just poured this in there. Um, camera wasn't rolling. <laughs> Dull. It just goes to show that is pretty much almost set now. There are a few bubbles in there, but, um, but that's fine, we get them out. I just added a bit of red into the top bit. So, uh, and this bit we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I don't know whether we're gonna like have that at the top or the bottom yet, I'm not too sure. But it's definitely got some cool colors going in, in and out of this. So this is gonna look quite smart. So this just does make a big difference when you just wait to, you know, heat the resin up before it cures and then add in, you know, the colors. You really get a, a really cool 
effect going on. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to top this bit up here because I want this to be a bit higher up to about, sorry, I want this to be about here. So I'm just going to fill this up with just some clear resin um, and then uh, we'll put this in the pressure pot and leave this overnight. Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> Mold. That's not good. <laughs> it was a cheap mug thing anyway. Well, it would have just come out of there pretty easily, really. Obviously not. Right, there we go, folks. Oh, look at the green in the top of that. How cool is that? Now, obviously, the main bulk of it was our first pour, and I added a bit on the top there. That's why, obviously, it's got that line in it. But that's going to look quite cool, I think. That still look quite cool. So, I'm going to say that the kettle should probably be more kind of this way with the lid up here like this, rather than that way. So, I think this should be our base. Let's get this on the lathe and see if we can make this kettle work. precise moment i'm none the wiser however i'm gonna carry on and i'm determined to make this kettle and it's gonna work and we're gonna be making a nice cup of tea with it you know what i'm saying I'm finishing the lid uh, because we're going to part this off in a minute, take that out, and then we can hollow out our kettle. <laughs> uh, the effects look pretty cool, actually. I mean, it, it does look kind of a pink kettle, but pink's cool. There's no problem with that. Um, but I think it's going to be quite see-through, actually. Once we start digging this out, I reckon it will be quite see-through because we didn't we didn't go heavy with the uh, you know with the colour. So you can see the little bits in here. That's look quite cool. That is a bit of white. I thought it was something stuck in there, but that's just a bit of white, um, kind of like color, but that's, that's gonna look cool. You see all the mist in there, so that looks quite nice. So this is, this is turning out all right, actually. <laughs> if it works, it's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna part this off. We need to find a little um, little lid for that, not like a lid, um, oh, like a little knob <laughs> on the end of there, um, so that we can, you know, that's the, that's the lid. What am I waffling on about? I've no idea. Um, whether that be resin or uh, wood, I don't know. It could be wood, to be honest, because it's nowhere near, you know, the, the, the kettle. So it could be. Um, I don't know. We'll think about that, and I'll get on and part this off, and I'll stop waffling on. Not what I'm saying. If I prattle on, just tell me to shut up. Actually, I won't be able to hear you say that.
is how far we've got so far. Hmm? And we're getting a lot of chatter. Yeah, 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 rabbit, rabbit, yeah, yeah, rabbit, rabbit. Exactly. Lots of chatter. But it's all right. We're supposed to get chatter. But it's because I'm going in deep. Know what I'm saying? Now you might notice that I'm using my easy wood tool for this job because it makes life easy. So if you fancy grabbing some easy stuff to use, check out the link below. Shined up, pretty cool. I kind of like all the green and the red bits in there, and then it sort of mixes into a bit of white and then the pink at the top. That's that's really cool. Oh, oh this is gonna be a crazy kettle, I tell you. Now we just gotta make the spout and the handle. You know what I'm saying? chunk and <laughs> this was kind of a little experiment ages ago i think it might work quite well with this kettle so i'm hoping that this is going to be thick enough uh i'll take a slice out of this and we can maybe make a bit of a spout what do you reckon hey Days. This bandsaw cuts like a butte. If you're looking for one, check it out. Record Power Sabre 350. Oh, yes. Oh.
Look at this! Ha <laughs> ha! If you're wondering what I used to shine up this knob, oh, it was this stuff. Shellowax. Ha <laughs> ha! I've been using this stuff from day one. Happy days. Now we're going to have to put these little badgers on because we don't want the surface heating up. Know what I'm saying? Now rather than screw these in, I'm going to stick a little bit of resin on them. Oh yes. Now folks, I just want to take this opportunity to ask you that if you think that this project is crazy enough to share with your friends and family, then I'd be much obliged. Because that would really help me out and the channel. And as you know, we want to get ourselves to that one million. And by sharing the video wherever and with whoever you can would be awesome. Thank you. This commercial was brought to you by Nick Zimmerdy. Tanga Tanga! <laughs>so that's our element that's kind of sat inside there now it's a little bit tricky so I kind of came off camera and sort of set this up because um, I wanted to make sure that we got a good seal down there where the elements gone in so I've had to sort of play around I've sort of put it in the vise <laughs> um, and stood it upright because it's kind of tricky it needs to be I wanted this in the center um, I've just syringed a little bit of resin because I am the resin doctor as you know um, just syringe a little bit of resin in there and then by tomorrow morning that'll be set and then I'll fill the whole of that hole with with resin I've got a little rubber seal on this side underneath there which I've sort of sealed in so hopefully that will work once that's sealed then we can put on the spout and the handle and then well then folks we can see if this resin kettle is the first world's resin kettle that works. If it doesn't work, then it'll be the first world's resin kettle anyway. It just don't work. It's alright. It'll work. Trust me. I love it. When a plan comes together. Scrap that idea. I've got a new one. Whilst we were off camera... The resin started to leak out of the hole because I put a bit more in, trying to be a bit impatient again, and it just leaked out and it wasn't going to be a great seal. So I thought about using some milliput. Oh, yes. Now this stuff will be perfect for the job in hand.
I think this is going to be perfect because it's heat resistant up to 130 degrees and more resistant. resin kettle teapot made cup of jar it didn't leak and it didn't melt <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed this one folks please subscribe to this channel please hit the bell notification in the top right hand side to get up and coming crazy videos oh i've got loads in the pipe for you <laughs> Smash the like button, give us a comment, and if you could share this video, that would be much obliged. Well, I won't waffle on too long, and I appreciate those of you that have stuck right to the end to see whether or not this resin, kettle, or teapot, whatever you want to call it, works. I was <laughs> really worried whether or not it was going to hold out, whether it was going to melt, or it was going to leak, or something like that, but it actually turned out pretty cool. It looks really cool i really do like it now as you know i don't always blow my own trumpet but on this occasion <laughs> now all the materials and products that i used in this video are listed below with links to the maker central new web shop check it out there's loads of bargains on there we've got some great deals for you. Please don't forget to check out all my other links as well, where I get my music from. Check me out on Facebook, because I'm always chucking videos up there, and my Instagram. Still trying to get to 50,000. <laughs> I'll get there one day. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, have a fab weekend, and I'll see you all for the next one. Know what I'm saying?